Well, many Breathitt County residents will be spending the night inside the high school gym as county officials offer shelter to those who've been forced to evacuate. LEX 18's Michael Burke shows us more flood damage. You know it's too much water when boating around the neighborhood has replaced driving. This time has uh, been the biggest one that I've seen since 84. I've seen floods, but never anything like this. Rachel, like many fellow Breathitt Countyans, was forced to evacuate this morning due to rising water levels. Levels, we're told, might not even peak for another few feet. It means those living along this bank of the North Fork Kentucky River could be next to leave. You can see over where them blue tarps are. Yeah. It's all around, you know, but hopeful. Pray to God that it don't happen. Across the street is Buck's sister-in-law. Her basement is flooded, but an evacuation hasn't yet been necessary. If it is, though, at least she'll have somewhere to go. County officials made certain of that by opening shelters for all of their residents. This is amazing. Like, you don't really see a lot of places pull together like this. Well, we'd have been in the car. Yeah. Sure would have. Mr. Campbell says he'll need an insurance settlement or some government resources from a state of emergency declaration to repair the damage to his home. There's going to be hundreds in the same boat. It's a bad time. In Breathitt County, Michael Burke, LEX 18 News.